This is a pawpaw. Uh, pawpaw is native to here. Uh, you'll generally find pawpaw growing on moist sites. And pawpaw is a really interesting tree. During the summer, they're really not very hard to spot. They've got a large leaf. They're, they're about that long and they're tapered at both ends. A neat thing about these large leaves is if you crush them up, they smell like green peppers. Um, during the winter, we're left looking at brown twigs that fortunately are very distinctive. If we look at these little end buds, the end buds are actually naked buds. That is, they're just little leaves wrapped around each other. They are brown, fuzzy, naked buds. The flower buds, and this one is just now getting to the age where it's going to start flowering. The flower buds on these are more round. They're fuzzy and round, and they'll start to grow out right before the leaves. So the flowers appear just before or with the leaves. The flowers on pawpaw are very interesting. They're, they're showy. They're, they're a really dark maroon, almost brown, and um, they're, they're big. They're, they're about that large and they dangle down. Uh, but what's really interesting about the flowers is that they are pollinated by flies and beetles. They don't smell great. They smell a little bit rotten, like rotten meat, but that brings in the flies and the beetles. Um, those pollinated flowers grow into the most unusual fruit on a native plant that I think I've ever seen. Uh, another name for pawpaw is Kentucky banana. And the fruit is really the closest to a banana. Uh, it, it's about that long and, and they're sort of puffy, like a puffy banana. They start out green and they ripen to, well, usually they're bruised and brown, but they ripen to almost a yellow color. And if you tear those open, uh, inside it's, it's well, it's a, it's a custard-like filling and uh, they're full of big brown, shiny, kidney-shaped seeds. The, the pulp is delicious. If you ever get a chance to try pawpaws, please, please try them. Um, again, pawpaw is a small tree. Uh, they can reach about 40 feet and, and they'll be in the understory. They're often in clusters. And you can see from this one that they will produce suckers from the roots. So you'll end up with clumps of pawpaws.